I'm Abigail Ryan, uh, working here in Tagus, based in Moor Park, and coordinator of the Greenfield Dairy Farm Project. And you're actually here today at the Moor Park Open Day. And we're just after finishing up our new entrance information forum. So it has gone very well. We've had an awful lot of people interested with a lot of questions. During the forum, we had the various farmers here that you can see on the boards. For example, we have Michael Doran here from Wexford who actually converted to dairy from suckling, beef, sheep and tillage in 2014. He's now 132 cows milking and milking on 52 hectares. All of these new entrants actually give a brief description of their own farms and they then took a lot of questions from the audience. They were asked questions like, would you in buy heifers the first day or would you just go for cows? So there was um, a lot of the new entrants had actually milked heifers only and were quite pleased that they did so. The other question was they were asking what's the max borrowings per cow you would take? While you can't give an exact answer, they all urged caution not to be over borrowed. On average, they're all, most of them are borrowed at about 2,000 euro per cow. The word plan was used an awful lot here today. All of these guys have a business plan in place and they all referred to their business plan throughout the discussion, emphasizing how important it was that you had a plan the first place. And then they said, Sometimes they went away, or the, the plan didn't stay on budget, but they had to just keep monitoring it. So again, the word plan was used a lot with these guys. We also discussed their three uh, essential investments. Cows nearly came into all of the equations. Good EBI cows. A lot of them have crossbred cows. They all obviously had to invest in a milking parlor. The next thing they spoke an awful lot about were, was water. Water was crucial. They hadn't realized how much water cows drank. They hadn't realized the width of water pipes. So again, it came back to the word plan. That plan needed to be put in place. Secondly, the other question was, and it was a mis the mistakes that they made. All of them said, you almost need a full year to put the plan in place. So if you need to borrow from the bank, if you want to milk September next year, you need to go to the bank September this year. Things like planning permission delayed them, lots of paperwork, um, meeting the banker, getting the loan drawn down, getting the money put into the bank, etc. Other questions about cash flow. Cash flow is crucial to these businesses. All of them need cash every month to pay their bills. So if they're over borrowed, they may not be able to actually pay the bills. So again, borrowing capacity, repayment capacity was discussed. All of them then discussed the best lesson they've learned since conversion. So you can see here, Michael Doran's lesson learned to have a very good, honest dairy farmer at the end of the phone to talk to, no matter how small the issue is. That was the best lesson he learned. So, all of these new entrants will need an actual good support. So we're available in Chagas to support them. There was also a new service launched today by Pat Going, who's the new financial specialist for expansion. To summarize today then, we've ran a number of forums with all of these new entrants, and they've been very honest with their figures and given a lot of information to hundreds of farmers that are non-dairy farmers that are thinking of becoming dairy farms.